This letter was written on July 8, 1942, for Lieutenant John N. Calhoun from his beloved wife, Dorothea. In the letter, Dorothea talks about her life, but more specifically, her work. She speaks about a 1250 permanent she gave at work that day. Dorothea worked in a beauty shop while her husband was away. This was not an uncommon occurrence for this time. Many women went to work during World War II for financial support and because of the amount of work to do with all the men being gone fighting in the war. John N. Calhoun was a lawyer who studied at the University of Iowa. He was also an Iowa senator for four years from 1933 to 1937. During World War II, he was a part of the National Guard and was stationed at the Judge Advocate General's office in the Middle East. In the letter, the author speaks about how she ran out of stationery to write her letter on. During this time period, supplies were all sent overseas to the men fighting the war. Families were allotted ration books that told them how much of what they could buy in the stores. Every person in that time period was frugal and did not waste their resources. She also talks about how she hired a young man to do some yard work around the house. This was most likely because her husband was gone and she needed help, so she hired him. In conclusion, this couple fell to the norm of couples in the 1940s. John Calhoun, the husband, went over to fight the war and Dorothea, the wife, stayed back and worked and raised her family while he was gone.